What's up guys, XOSK here and I will be commentating another game of Pax Nora and today I'll be commentating between two players, uh, one of them being Gro91 who is ranked 94 limited league and um, Gro will be playing, is he the kid? No, he is the Sunderlands player of this match and his opponent will be Chris0024 and Chris0024 will be playing uh, Full faction killer and already two very bulky strong guys are out Akakios um, for Gro who is just a powerful unit we'll just say that he's very strong and uh, Agaru Kodiak um, who is especially strong after its recent um, buff and it seems like a lot of the games I'm commentating is on this small forsaken waste map but th I'm fine with that because there's usually a lot of action here, and for Gro, we see an Angel of War out. Um, Angel of War has prepared, I think, most likely. That's why she, yeah, she's impervious for four turns, and because of such a small map area here, um, that'll do. That'll be a lot of help. Um, it'll be able to fight with one turn of impervious, and uh, Chris zero zero two fours, Garu Kodiak moves up, um, uses a pummel. And does some nice damage because of that declare hunted right there. And unfortunately, I think uh, Chris0024 wanted to kill this Akakios this turn, but um, instead of double attacking, he dueled it instead or something. I don't know. Um, I'm not quite sure why, but uh, now Akakios will be able to maybe kill someone. Okay, so Akakios is going to use uh, Annihilate, and that is going to reveal, I think this, the Garu Kodiak was hibernated, so it, yeah, that's why I was invisible. So he uses um, Annihilate to reveal this Garu Kodiak, uh, so that Angel of War can attack that. And <laughs> Angel of War is equipped with Bone Splitter Maul, so it's going to it's gonna deal a lot more damage to warriors and does Garu yeah Garu Kodiak counts as a warrior so Garu Kodiak just took a lot of damage from Akios and Angel of War and the spell finishes him off what spell was that? I forgot what it's called exactly Tornado yeah it's a relic kill it yeah Tornado so kind of fairy um, picks it up wow Okay, so Condor Fury is able to pick up that Nora, and a Grimmick Samir is casted on Condor Fury, um, which I guess initiation works for it also. So we have a Condor Fury out here, and Chris0024, I'll just say Chris for now, because that's kind of, you know, cumber lumbersome, cumbersome? Yeah, cumbersome. Uh, he's contesting Gro's font right now. Very smart move. And this in I think oh, these ones are nice, so the Bone Splitter Maul will not be as good against these Condor Furies, but we'll see what happens. Two Condor Furies are out, and it's just a dangerous combo, even for an Angel of War. And Aerial Supremacy does not work because their Condor Furies are flying. So there goes the attack, there goes the other attack. I think. She still has evasive though, so ranged attacks will not do as much damage. So I guess he should have opted for moving closer, but whatever. He still did a pretty good amount of damage. So actually, um, before that, uh, Chris used time slip on Angel of War, and that's a nice good way of using uh, time slip offensively because yes you get 20 speed but it takes one turn for it to happen so um, Angel of War was not able to gather AP and that's why it didn't attack any of these two so all Gro could do was summon um, which would summon the Draxar Legionnaire and his banner um, Angel of War could not do any damage um, so now, I don't think I ever said Chris's rank. By the way, Chris's rank is 102, really. So, 
um, Chris is closing in with his Condor Furies um, so that Evasive doesn't kick in. And I remember when, uh, it was just a few days ago, Angel of War had Evasive and Reflexes, which is um, melee uh, reduction, which made it very hard to kill. But now it only has Evasive, so much more easier to handle, but still very strong. That's the Sunderlands Angel is still a very strong angel. Alright, so Draxor Legionnaire is going to cast Nexus Aura to save this Angel of War. So it was a good summon for Gro. Um, because next turn, unless spells go down or whatever. Alright, there's one of them. Unless another spell goes down to finish off Angel of War. Angel of War will have 20 speed and it will be... I guess doing some work to these condo fairies. We'll see. And I think I had a whisper. Alright, sorry. I, I was trying to make a trade with a guy, and I will see after this if I accept it. Alright, so Angel of War, um, one attack on this Condor Fairy, another attack, um, finishes that Condor Fairy off, and hits that one, and he gets shot twice by Draxar Legionnaire. So the one Condor Fairy is dead, and this other Condor Fairy is close to death. Okay, so that's a good move by Gro right there. He realized that his Angel of War was not going to um, survive. So he used the exertion he gained from Bone Splitter Maul so that Draxar Legionnaire can collect the Nora instead of Condor Fairy. And so that Condor Fairy cannot get his quest kill off by killing the Angel of War. Very nice play by Gro. And Chris is just going to attack the shrine a little. Maybe find some way to to win in that sense. We will have to see. Alright, Condor Fury going to contest. Equipped Rejuvenation Ring, okay. And putting the banner down. So it's just a lot more time that this font is going to be contested. I guess that's fairly, fairly annoying. But a good harass, I guess. So Condor Fury regained its health from Rejuvenation Ring. Oh! And the nice play by Chris. Um, I think... I bet Gro was trying to use that Fire Blast. Well, it's not called Fire Blast. It's called like something else. Uh, Firestorm. The Sun and Lands is Firestorm. The UD is Fire Blast. He uses Firestorm, but Condor Fury unfortunately had protection casted on it. So the first damage it took, it drank. Or not drank, but absorbed it. You know what I mean. So he gained uh, half the health, 7 health, and oh, there's the game. Uh, Chris, well played, was able to move into that font, um, have a lot of pressure on Gro, and Gro could not come back from that. Uh, yeah, a very good game played by both of these two. Um, thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, continue to watch, and please subscribe. Thanks.